Hello student, let's start with an interesting chapter from physics, chapter number 1 of class 10, Gravitation. Inside this chapter, we will be learning 5 important topics as per the theory is concerned. The first topic is Kepler's law. Second topic is Newton's law of gravitation. Third topic is acceleration due to gravity. Fourth topic is ascent and descent. Fifth and the last topic is escape velocity. We will be learning the proof of Newton's law that is inverse square law of gravity. The subtopic of acceleration due to gravity is variation, mass and weight. Similarly for ascent and descent it is free fall, weightlessness, high tide and low tide. Let's see Kepler's law of planetary motion. He has given three laws for planetary motion. He said that every planet revolves around the sun in an elliptical orbit with the sun at one of the foci. So this becomes the first statement that is the orbit of a planet is an ellipse with the sun at one of the foci. Let's see Kepler's second law. If a planet move from A to B and C to D in equal time interval then the area A as B and C as D will be equal that becomes the second law that is the line joining the planet and the sun sweeps equal area in equal interval of time. Okay, let's see next law that is Newton's universal law of gravitation. He said force is directly proportional to m1 m2 upon d square. So the formula become f is equal to g m1 m2 upon d square where g is gravitation constant. Now if you are sitting with your friend, so do we have any gravitation force on each other? So this is the question. So the answer is yes. We will be having a gravitation force on each other. But why don't we are not attracting toward each other? Because the mass of us is very less as compared to the mass of the earth. Okay, so any object which are on the table also they will have a certain kind of gravitation force among them. But they will not attract toward each other because their mass is very less and the force is negligible. We know that force is proportional to m1 and m2 since the masses are very small so the force is also very small. So hence we will not feel any moment due to the gravitational force because of the negligible mass. Okay. Let's see free fall. An object which is falling under the influence of gravity is called free fall. But sometimes the object will also an other force that is air resistance and buoyant force. We have three equation. The first is V is equal to GT. Second is F. S is equal to half GT square. Third is V square is equal to 2 GS. Okay. So these are the three equation which will be using in the numerical. We should know what is the maximum height attained by an object when we throw any object in the upward direction. Due to Newton's third equation we have V square is equal to U square plus 2 AS where V is 0 final velocity will be 0 and acceleration will be minus G. So the maximum height attained by a ball will be V square upon 2G. Acceleration due to gravity the formula can be derived as F is equal to G M M upon R square and the second will be F is equal to M G equating 1 and 2 we will get G is equal to G M upon R square this is the formula for acceleration due to gravity so we can see from this it is not depend on mass it is depend on the mass of the planet okay you have gone to the doctor and you have seen that he has told you to check your weight. But it is not your weight. Basically it is your mass. Because mass is nothing but the amount of matter present in an object. And weight is due to the force which is uh, gravitation force which attracts us. <coughs> now high tide and low tide is due to moon's gravitational pull. So the moon will pull us and the, on the opposite side the uh, water will also have high tide due to inertia but at right angle it will be low tide 
and on the certain of the opposite side it will be also an high tide the spacecraft and the traveler will feel weightlessness in a spacecraft because it is at a very high huge height from the earth surface and the acceleration due to value gravity value does not become zero it will be very less as compared to the earth surface so it will be in a state of free fall thank you